Okay, so I decided to fix that soap that got messed up. Um, it was, ended up being too light heavy because I didn't mix it good enough. Remember that sandalwood soap? If you watch the video, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, uh, what happened was I made cold processed soap in the middle <laughs> of the night because uh, I just had a really bad urge to make soap. And I didn't want to wake up my baby or my neighbors, so I didn't use a stick blender. I used a hand whisk, and I ended up not mixing it good enough. So um, it ended up being too lye heavy because the lye wasn't mixed in with the oils well enough. I thought it was, but I guess it wasn't because when the, it came time to took the soap out and cut it, there ended up being a big pocket of uh, with a lye pool on the bottom of the soap and um, there was spotting all over the soap and it was uh, soda ash and at first touch like it didn't seem like it, there was anything wrong with it but um, the more I handled it the more it started to burn me especially when I got that lye water from the lye pool uh, on my hands so I don't want no one to get hurt when they use my soap, so I just decided to um, rebatch it and try to save it because that's $112 down in the trash if I don't fix it. So I uh, used this grater and I grated the soap bars into little granules, and after um, I got down to the last four bars my hands were getting pretty beat up from the soap so I just chopped it into little tiny cubes so now I, I added some water and it's on warm I just turned it on so I will bring you back after it cooks down so you can see what it looks like I'm probably going to have to add more fragrance to this because normally after you cook down soap it loses its fragrance. So there was sandalwood in this, um, sandalwood fragrance. So I'm going to have to figure out what else I want to put in there. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, now that you're all caught up. I will bring you back after it cooks for a while and you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. It needs a good stir. I think maybe it'll be pretty good soap after this is all done. I'm glad I did this because it gives the lye a chance to cook out and everything to go the way it's supposed to be. Get down from there, Chloe. Get down, I told you. Yeah. Okay. So that's looking really good. I'm happy about that. Here, oh, I need to blend this. I should blend it. Okay, I'm going to blend this real quick. Man, I'm glad I 
I did that. I really like emulsified it real good. Brought it to Trace. looking great. That's the way it's supposed to look. Okay. Okay, um, I will bring you back after it cooks up a little more. I'm glad I remembered to stick blend that. It really needed stick blending. And, um, now it'll, it'll, It'll do much better. So yeah, I'll bring. It, I'm gonna cover it now and cook it for another 20 minutes. Okay, I'm back again. It's been about um, 20 minutes, maybe 15. No, exactly. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can turn this flash on. Here we go. So it's been about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and it's time to stir this again. It's about the consistency of, I don't know, I should probably stick on this again. I'm going to stick on this again and um, I'm going to stick on this and then cover it up and cook it for another 20 minutes and I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Right now it's still really runny. I uh, I don't know. We'll just have to keep cooking it and see how it goes. Okay. So this has been cooking for I guess I could say a total of like five hours. I'm not exactly sure how long. I forgot to you know, look but when I started but I would say about four or five hours and it takes longer to cook your soap when you're rebatching it because I don't know it just does but so this is the soap I'm going to stir it right now and um, it started to Cling to the edges real good. Um, so now, last time when I originally made this, I put a slight orange tint to it, and I added sandalwood. The sandalwood is still in it. It's um, not as strong, but it's still there. But I'm going to add some jasmine. 
So it'll be jasmine and sandalwood. Okay. And I think that will probably smell good. It'll help balance the smell of the sandalwood better. So you can see like it has a real good sheen to it and that's how you know that it's done. So I got my super fats ready and this is shea butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, glycerin and jasmine essential oil. Now I don't need this spoon. I gotta wash these dishes now. I'm just gonna take this and dump it right in my soap. This is what's called super fatting your soap. And you do this at the end because you don't calculate it in with your lye. Um, because you want all the extra beneficial properties of the added oil and butter at the end. And if you calculate that in your recipe when you're uh, calculating your lye, then it won't, the lye will eat it up. And you don't want the... You don't want that when you're super fatting your soap because you want it to be extra moisturizing. So you add it at the end. And this is, um, this smells a lot better with the jasmine. It smelled good before, but it just smells complete now. So we're going to mix this in real good. What's broken? It's broken. You broke it even more? I broke the unicorn button. Yeah. So we're mixing this real well to get it incorporated real good. Turn the heat off. So this is five pounds of soap. It looks really creamy. I like it. See that? It's like so soap porn right there. <laughs> So that's ready to put in the mold now. So let me get my mold. Trying to give you a good view. All right. Ah, 
Add it on the side. I love making soap, it's fun. Got some of my... It's hard to load in the mold when you're doing hot process. That's the only downfall. You can do it. I'm making a mess over here. You okay? Pull those up. Pull them up. Yeah. Pull up your pants. She's waddling with her shorts down around her ankles. Because they fell down somehow. And instead of pulling them up, she's waddling around. <laughs> and she keeps falling on her face. <laughs> You're silly. Too much. I'm not sure. There's still a little bit left in here. Okay. Um. 
It's hard to do this without making a mess. Okay. All right. This is what the soap looks like. I think that it, it, it did a good job fixing itself. I'm excited about that. So I will wait uh, 18 to 24 hours before taking this out of the mold. Chloe, get up. Okay, let's test it out. You can test out your soap with cold water that cools it off and makes it hard. You just take a, a glob of soap, run it under the cold water so you don't burn yourself and so it gets hard. Squeeze it together to make a ball and then start washing. Oh, some of it broke off. Hey, it's working pretty good. It's not burning my skin. Moisturizing, cleansing, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. It turned out good. I'm happy. Now I got a product that I can stand behind. So if you ever have any uh, doubts about your soap, you feel like it's just gone wonkers on you, you can always melt it down in the crock pot and rebatch it like I just did. Now it's time to clean up this mess. So I'm happy that I rebatched this and it turned out really good. All the bars are pretty much going to look the same because I didn't put a design in it. But it turned out really good. I'm digging it. <laughs> turned out pretty good. I'm liking it. Once it cures and gets harder, it'll be a great bar of soap. My soap sells for $7 each. You get 5 ounces for $7 of handmade organic soap, which is a great deal. I was able to fix the sandalwood soap and it turned out really s silky and luxurious with lots of bubbles and lather and um, I have to trim up the top so it could fit in the box. <laughs> I guess it went a little bit too high on the edges here but um, I'm packaging them up today and then I'll be posting them on my website. So um, by the time this video is up, they'll be up on the website. And you could um, purchase yourself a bar if you're interested. Well, uh, thanks for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day today. They do smell great. I added some jasmine to them. So... Um, if you're into sandalwood, go get yourself a bar before they're gone. I only got uh, 14 of them. Well, have a great day. Stay awesome, guys.
For more information about Simple Soul Organics, check out our website at www.simplesoulorganics.com where you can browse all of our products, read our company blog, uh, check out some free homemade recipes. Uh, I got some organic community resources up there. And I have like free downloads where you could read PDFs and other articles. I'm always updating and improving the website, so keep coming back regularly for more cool content. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.